So what is the difference between a put and a patch request? That's actually a very common interview question. And uh, well, let's maybe look at the official RFCs to see what the difference is. Well, uh, for the put request, it says the put method requests that the state of the target resource be created or replaced with the state defined by the representation enclosed in the request message payload. <laughs> well, yeah, that's a bit abstract in my opinion, but okay, yeah, let's look at uh, patch. So here it says the patch method requests that a set of changes described in the request entity be applied to the resource identified by the request URI. <laughs> well, okay, that's also abstract. So yeah, let's maybe make this a bit more concrete. Yeah. So let's say you are a client and uh, you're making API calls. And this API allows you to change or modify or create uh, addresses. Yeah. So each address has like a street name, a number, a particular city, a zip code, a state. So in this case, Alaska and a floor. Now I mark this floor field in green, pay special attention to it because it's going to be important later on to, to illustrate the difference uh, between the two requests. Yeah. Okay. So let's say we have this initial state. And what we now do is uh, we say, well, we want to modify this particular address here. Yeah, I just gave it a random ID of one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And what we do is we make a put request and we say, yeah, you know, I don't like um, this particular street. It shouldn't be Smith Street. It should be Hill Avenue and street number should be 10. It should be in LA and here's a new zip code and this is the new state. Okay. So what is going to happen? Well, According to the specification or to the meaning of put, what the API is going to do is it's going to check, okay, do I have like something under this ID? Like does this resource exist? In our case, yes, it does exist. And uh, then the API says, okay, cool. Since it's like a put request, I'm going to throw away whatever I have under this particular URI. So this initial state we have seen here and I'm going to completely replace it with the payload that I just received and you can see that in the results here right so now you have the exact same uh, payload here as the state of the resource and what I wanted to point out here is pay attention to this floor field yeah so put he in this case as it as indicated here means replacing so it takes whatever is there if there's anything there and then it throws it away and it replaces it completely with whatever it has received so previously we had a value for floor but since it is a put request it's going to throw the whole thing away and now the uh, well the value of this resource or like the uri is going to be exactly what we just sent that's the semantics of put. Yeah, so the semantics of put is to a resource to be created or replaced. Oftentimes people say, well, uh, put is for updating. But yeah, okay, I get what you mean, but it's not really accurate. Like saying replacing would be way more accurate than updating. Because with update, it's not clear what you mean with it. Like, do you replace the actual thing or do you just like modify existing fields? Yeah, and I think what is also a bit or what might be a little bit confusing the first time you read it, it's like this created. It's like, hmm, I always thought that we use post requests for creating resources. And uh, yeah, that's absolutely true. So you do use post requests and yeah, pretty much every, any API uses it. Um, but what this statement here means is something different. Yeah. So here the semantics of put is, if you're like completely clear, I have like a URI, which I already know. And then the API says, okay, if there's something there, I'm going to throw it away and replace it with whatever you have sent me. But if there's nothing there, right? So if this particular address uh, would not exist, then, uh, well, I would still, the API would create like this particular address. And then the next time you make a GET request, you would actually get the exact same result. Of course, nobody in practice is um, using a put request really to create completely new resources. Why? Because a put request requires you to know um, 
the particular URI where this resource should be stored. And most APIs or pretty much all, all APIs say, well, look, I'm like the API and I have my inner workings and I control uh, under which URI a particular resource is stored. Yeah, so if you make a put uh, if you make a post request, um, then you essentially say, yeah, just please go ahead and uh, create like this entity and then, uh, yeah, return me the status code and ideally also tell me the, the location of the thing you just created. But with put, it would require you to already know the exact URI upfront. And that's why pretty much nobody is using the put request for uh, creating things, uh, but only for replacing existing resources. Yeah, so I think it might be a bit confusing for the, the created here, but in practice, what it means is uh, put means replacing in practice. Yeah, so if you see put request, okay, whatever is there is going to get completely replaced. And usually if you try to replace a resource that doesn't exist on the API, then usually you get an error. Um, yeah. Okay, so that's put. And uh, let's maybe check out the patch request, shall we? So let's say we are already, uh, we're again in our initial state. And let's make a patch request this time. Yeah. And we figure out that, well, yeah, the street name is actually not what we want to have. And the street number is also not what we want to have. So we send a payload of uh, street name Hill Avenue and street number is two. So what is going to happen is that the API, since it's now like a patch request, is going to modify the existing resource, but only the particular fields or key value pairs that we have sent. Yeah. So it just takes the existing resource here, uh, here and then it just replaces these two fields and that's the new state of the resource. And uh, yeah, you can already see the main difference here is like, okay, with put, you just throw it away if it already exists. Yeah, most of the time it does because in practice, as I said before, nobody uh, will allow you to, will allow the client to just come up with IDs. And so put is like replacing and patch is modifying individual fields of the existing resource. Yeah, and if you make like a patch request to an address that doesn't exist, you will get an error. If you make a put request to an address that doesn't exist, then you will most probably also get an error because the API is just not allowing you to do so. But in theory, it would be valid uh, to just create like that particular address. Yeah, so that's like the main difference between these two. And you can also see that uh, like no field also has been deleted. Yeah, so we still have this floor field, even though we didn't send it here. So in some way you could say that put is like more invasive, yeah, because it just throws away the existing thing and replaces it completely. Whereas patch is uh, a bit more fine grained or where you only modify a particular fields or key value pairs. So what I just tried to explain is also reflected in the patch RFC, like this 5789, it's like the latest one, because patch was actually not an initial HTTP verb. Yeah, initially you only had get, put, post and so on, but patch was not there and patch was added later on. And here it says, well, in a put request, the enclosed entity is considered to be a modified version of the resource stored on the origin server and the client is requesting that the stored version to be replaced. So basically you're just sending a new version over when you're making a put request. And with patch, well, the enclosed entity contains a set of instructions describing how a resource currently residing on the origin server should be modified to produce a new version. That's what I just tried to explain. And by the way, in the wild, you might find APIs that don't stick to these principles. Yeah, so you might find an API where you have a put request, but this put request is only updating uh, particular fields, even though according to the you know, specification, this is not correct or this is not how it should be. Yeah? Good. So that's the main difference between put and patch. With patch, you modify individual fields to produce a new version, whereas with put, you send the complete representation of the resource over 
and replace everything that is already there. So I hope you found this video educational. If you did, please give a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.